Johnny Numa Ministries presents Saturday Night of Prophet Seas, where the miracles are supernatural. The testimonies are unforgettable. I have a testimony about the wedding invitation prayer in, in late 2021. I got married on December 28, 2022. So she got married exactly one year from that day of the prophecy. The teachings are revelational. Oh no, with that manifestation, we'll make you go rock one day. The prophecies are accurate. In the realms of the spirit, I am seeing one, two, three children. How many children does he have? Three. He has three children. Come on. It is your opportunity to have a free one to one consultation with Apostle Johnny Numa on Apostolic TV, Saturdays at 11 p.m. GMT. Tell somebody. IPP 2024. Praise the Lord. The Lord bless you. My name is Apostle Johnny Newman. I'm the senior pastor of the Haven Global Church here, based in the United Kingdom. I'm so excited to tell you that IPP 2024 is coming to St. Vincent and the Grandins. The Lord gave me a word in the year 2021, January, concerning the nation, and ever since there's been deeper revelation about God's plans for not just St. Vincent and the Grandins, but the Caribbean islands as a whole. Wherever you are, if you're based in St. Vincent or you're based in the Grenadines, I would be in your country in the month of May, the 24th, the 25th, and the 26th, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Three promising and amazing days with God and the host of heaven, plus myself as a vessel. 20 pounds of fibroid in you. The book of Isaiah chapter 26, verse 2, verse 3, and verse 4 says, Open ye the gates that the righteous nation which keepeth the truth may enter in. Thou wilt keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee because he trusted in thee. Trust ye in the Lord, St. Vincent and the Grandins, forever. For the Lord Jehovah is everlasting strength. St. Vincent and the Grandins, your time has come. into your day by rising up and commanding your morning monday to friday 5 a.m sharp we got servant of Apostle John and Prophetess Josephine Enuma break every arrow that flyeth by day and walk into your God-given destiny. Be sure to subscribe to Apostolic TV to be notified every time we are live.
happy 2024. Praise the Lord. The Lord bless you. My name is Apostle John Enuma. I'm the senior pastor of the Haven Global Church here based in the United Kingdom. I'm so excited to tell you that IPP 2024 is coming to St. Vincent and the Grandins. The Lord gave me a word in the year 2021, January, concerning the nation, and ever since there's been deeper revelation about God's plans for not just St. Vincent and the Grandins, but the Caribbean islands as a whole. Wherever you are, if you're based in St. Vincent or you're based in the Grandins, I would be in your country in the month of May, the 24th, the 25th, and the 26th, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Three promising and amazing days with God and the host of heaven, plus myself as a vessel. 20 pounds of fibroid in you. The book of Isaiah chapter 26, verse 2, verse Power. 3, and verse 4 says, Open ye the gates that the righteous nation which keepeth the truth may enter in. Thou wilt keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee because he trusted in thee. Trust ye in the Lord, St. Vincent and the Grandins, forever. For the Lord Jehovah is everlasting strength. St. Vincent and the Grandins, your time has come. Praise the Lord. The Lord bless you. My name is Apostle Johnny Numa. I'm the senior pastor of the Haven Global Church here, based in the United Kingdom. I'm so excited to tell you that IPP 2024 is coming to St. Vincent and the Grandins. The Lord gave me a word in the year 2021, January, concerning the nation, and ever since there's been deeper revelation about God's plans for not just St. Vincent and the Grandins, but the Caribbean islands as a whole. Wherever you are, if you're based in St. Vincent or you're based in the Grenadines, I would be in your country in the month of May, the 24th, the 25th, and the 26th, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Three promising and amazing days with God and the host of heaven, plus myself as a vessel. 20 pounds of fibroid in you. The book of Isaiah chapter 26 verse 2, verse 3, and verse 4 says, Open ye the gates that the righteous nation which keepeth the truth may enter in. Thou wilt keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee because he trusted in thee. Trust ye in the Lord St. Vincent and the Grandins forever. For the Lord Jehovah is everlasting strength. St. Vincent and Grandins, your time has come.
Declare positivity into your day by rising up and commanding your morning. Monday to Friday, 5 a.m. sharp. The God servant of Apostle John and Prophetess Josephine Enuma break every arrow that flyeth by day and walk into your God-given destiny. Be sure to subscribe to Apostolic TV to be notified every time we are live. John Inuma Ministries presents Saturday Night of Prophet Seas, where the miracles are supernatural. The testimonies are unforgettable. Also, I have a testimony about the wedding invitation prayer in, in late 2021. I got married on December 28, 2022. So she got married exactly one year from that day of the prophecy. The teachings are revelational. Oh no, with that manifestation, we'll make you go rock one day. The prophecies are accurate. In the realms of the spirit, I am seeing one, two, three children. How many children does he have? Ooh. He has three children. Come on. It is your opportunity to have a free one to one consultation with Apostle Johnny Numa on Apostolic TV, Saturdays at 11 p.m. GMT. Tell somebody. Praise the Lord, the Lord bless you. My name is Apostle Tony Numa, and I'm welcoming you to this great day I'm about to present to you to join a wonderful platform, wonderful movement, a wonderful army, open community of God's people who God has been using and God is still using and you are about to be used as well. To my friend explain, there is a group God has laid in my hand, in my heart, called Destiny Global Partners. Destiny Global Partners are those who I call my intercessors, my partners, my hand holders, my pillars, that God has raised men and women, young and old, like different tongues, tribe, race, color, people with one agenda see God's key. The Bible says in Romans chapter 10 verse 14, it says, how then shall they call on him whom they have not believed? How shall they believe in him whom they have not heard? How shall they hear without him? says, and how shall they accept they be said? As it is written, how beautiful are of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. Child of God, God has used my life. I'm so privileged to say that God has used my life to bring this word of peace and good glad tidings to different nations from the American continent to different and various beautiful Caribbean island countries, liberating destinies, reassuring the people of God, re-energizing the faith and revitalizing the faith of the remnants who and intercessors who are praying in different localities, crying for change, lifting up Jesus like a banner across the communities, drawing all men Onto it. Listen to me, before God releases his wrath on a place, it is only when there is no man to pray. When there is a man to pray for a community, a society, a nation, a people, a tribe, a tongue, even a, a, a whole continent, God's mercy shows up. It's a wonderful privilege to be part of what God has been doing. You can see our track record of nations we've been a blessing to. The widow has been blessed. The orphans have been blessed. Young and old being blessed. The, 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 those in captivity has been delivered. Destinies liberated. Souls being pulled out of hell and populating heaven, drawn out of darkness into the very marvelous light of God through the delivery of the word of God in power and the revelation of his might through the power of the word of God that is delivered from and by the word. I want to use you, I want this opportunity to invite you to be a part of this great 
community, this great movement, this great group and set of people who have partnered with the vision God has given me. No anointing is an island. No matter how anointed you are, God will raise you with wonderful men and women. And I thank God for all the giants that have partnered with me, men and women called Destiny Global Partners. And I want to open this invitation to you or send you this open invitation as well to be part of Destiny Global Partners. The Bible says the laborers are few, but the work, the work are plentiful. This work is ever increasing. It's not stopping. It's not decreasing. As we usher in and press even further into these dark times, the Bible says there shall be darkness upon the earth gross darkness the people gross gross we cannot operate less than gross we have to our movement to draw souls out of this gross darkness should be higher than the gross darkness itself so listen to me men cannot see the light out of the world entrance of that word give it light and understanding to the simple in the word of god is life and in that life is a light of men and that light shine it in darkness and darkness cannot comprehend it listen to me god's heartbeat is to see men saved that's why he sent jesus and jesus paid the price but jesus ain't coming down to preach the gospel we are here to do this and you might not be able to reach certain countries and certain communities and certain people you might not be able to physically be there but when you partner with myself and the assignment god has placed on my life the mandate is giving me to liberate this to that liberate destinies you are also with me in the field and the same way the bible tells us blessed are those who's blessed are the feet of those who brings our beautiful are the feet of those who bring the gospel of peace god will make your life and your feet beautiful as well and add stars to your crown all my destiny people partners i want to say thank you again for being a wonderful wonderful support system to see that the the manifestation of the the the, 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 the mandate god placed on my life in this generation is sustained and you listening to me who hasn't yet joined this wonderful platform an opportunity now is available i want you to prayerfully think about it prayerfully plan to be one of them and prayerfully stay connected and i pray that as lives are blessed as destinies are liberated as souls are one for the kingdom your star will be added to your crown and upon your return back to the father you'll be called a faithful and a full servant not be doing it physically two ways you can be a destiny global partner is through your intercession and also your financial partnership the bible says money answer at all things and i'm too glad that we have touched lives in mighty ways and sometimes i cry and i'm so humble to see what god is doing from the smallest suppose smallest man to the biggest of men and listen to me what a privilege to be part of something like this. So, hey, part of how do you become part of Destiny Global Partners? My website, www.joininima.com. Join and partner with us, or you can drop us a message in our admin line, and I believe that we'll be responding to you accordingly. God bless you again, and I am welcoming you to be part of the family. God bless you, Jesus is Lord. Declare positivity into your day by rising up and commanding your morning, Monday to Friday, 5 a.m. sharp. We got servant of Apostle John and Prophetess Josephine Enuma break every arrow that flyeth by day and walk into your God-given destiny. Be sure to subscribe to Apostolic TV to be notified every time we are live. IPP 2024. Praise the Lord. The Lord bless you. My name is Apostle John Enuma. I'm the senior pastor of the Haven Global Church here based in the United Kingdom. I'm so excited to tell you that IPP 2024 is coming to St. Vincent and the Grandins. The Lord gave me a word in the year 2021, January, concerning the nation and ever since there's been deeper revelation about God's plans for not just St. Vincent and the Grandins, but the Caribbean Islands as a whole. Wherever you are, if you're based in St. Vincent or you're based in the Grandins, I would be in your country in the month of May, the 24th, the 25th and the 26th, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Three promising and amazing days with God and the host of heaven plus myself as a vessel. 20 pounds of fibroid in you. The book of Isaiah chapter 26 verse 2, verse 3 and verse 4 says, Open ye the gates that the righteous nation which keepeth the truth may enter in. Thou wilt keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee because he trusted in thee. Trust ye in the Lord St. Vincent and the Grandins forever. For the Lord Jehovah is everlasting strength. St. Vincent and Grandins, your time has come.
Johnny Newman Ministries presents Saturday Night of Prophet Seas, where the miracles are supernatural. The testimonies are unforgettable. I have a testimony about the wedding invitation prayer in, in late 2021. I got married on December 28, 2022. So she got married exactly one year from that day of the prophecy. The teachings are revelational. Oh no, with that manifestation, we make you go rock one day. The prophecies are accurate. In the realms of the spirit, I am seeing one, two, three children. How many children does he have? Three. He has three children. Come on. It is your opportunity to have a free one-to-one -one consultation with Apostle Johnny Numa on Apostolic TV, Saturdays at 11 p.m. GMT. Tell somebody. Praise the Lord. The Lord bless you. My name is Apostle Johnny Newman. I'm the senior pastor of the Haven Global Church here, based in the United Kingdom. I'm so excited to tell you that IPP 2024 is coming to St. Vincent and the Grandins. The Lord gave me a word in the year 2021, January, concerning the nation, and ever since there's been deeper revelation about God's plans for not just St. Vincent and the Grandins, but the Caribbean islands as a whole. Wherever you are, if you're based in St. Vincent or you're based in the Grenadines, I would be in your country in the month of May, the 24th, the 25th, and the 26th, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Three promising and amazing days with God and the host of heaven, plus myself as a vessel. 20 pounds of fibroid in you. The book of Isaiah chapter 26, verse 2, verse Power. 3, and verse 4 says, Open ye the gates that the righteous nation which keepeth the truth may enter in. Thou wilt keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee because he trusted in thee. Trust ye in the Lord, St. Vincent and Grandins, forever. For the Lord Jehovah is everlasting strength. St. Vincent and Grandins, your time has come. Hallelujah. Come on, let's say the bread of Jesus. Hallelujah. What a mighty, mighty God we serve. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our Saturday night Hallelujah. of prophecies. My God, it's been a while, isn't it? God bless you all. God bless you all. Sandra Mason, how are you doing? As Barbados, Adrian Ira, God bless you. I'm Shane Sobin Okoro, God bless you. Connie this morning, God bless you. Um, Sam is JJ, Sam is Yan. God bless you, Daniel. God bless you. Um, you didn't say amen there. Amen. I'm not you. Amen. 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 God bless you. Um, Shane Thompson, um, Reverend Sherene, God bless you. Ask Sandy Clark, how are you doing, Sam? Yan is Bell, God bless you. Sheryl Landell, God bless you. Samantha Oda, God bless you. Susan Stewart, God bless you. Ithel Brown, God bless you. God bless you. Everyone who's live, Cornelia, God bless you. I got your message. God bless you. It is well with you in Jesus' name. Amen. I'm excited as to what the Lord has got in stock for us. Now, run away. Return to God bless you. Everyone who's live, make sure you're typing up something so I know that you're there. Type up something so that I know that you are there. What a mighty, mighty God is have. Register your presence now by typing up a comment. And I want to do something extra. I want you to tell a neighbor, tell someone that we're live. So tell someone that we're live. Amen. What a mighty, 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 mighty God. We what? We serve. Amen. Amen. Um, I 
So, um, just some, now some things finalizing some some things behind the scene. You know, man, so is busy, really. God bless you, Tembi. God bless you, um, Anne Mary Knight. God bless you, Rosa Sharon. God bless you, Virginia Marceline. How we doing? I pray that the Vaseline of life and glory is rubbing on you, Marceline. Hallelujah. Praise, Praise God. God. Warrior, woman, strong. God bless you. Amen. Listen to me. I'm excited. Um, God is good. Let's pray. Father, we thank for your love. We thank for everything. Do mighty things in our lives tonight. This moment in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Warrior, woman, strong. Blessings to you from St. Kitts. God bless you. God bless you. Um, Shalisa Layla from Barbados. God bless you. God bless everyone who's alive. Make sure you tell someone that we're alive. Ensure that you tell someone that we are live. Amen. We are what? We are live. I'm excited. I'm excited. Um, hit the like button. Click on the thumbs up button. And um, also subscribe if it's your first time. If you haven't yet subscribed. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Father, for everything. Thank you, Lord, for everything. Thank you, Lord, for everything. Hmm? Praise God. Oh, yes. Amen. So, um, child of God, it's going to be nice and swift and um, impactful, I believe, tonight, what the Lord has got in stock for us. Um, I, I want you to ensure that you have... Um, inform someone that we're alive. We're in a very delicate season where the Lord has given us a word in Psalms 126. Blue to shine from the UK. God bless you. I see you too. Yes? God bless you. Um, what should we wear to bless you? The Haven Global Church, Dallas, Texas. God bless you. Okay. Um, so the Lord has given us a word Psalm 126. Is the word of God towards this month of April? The Lord said the month of April is our month of laughter and what? Singing. Someone said laughter. Laughter. And someone says singing. Singing. Bible says in Psalm 126, verse 1, it says, When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue with singing. And then said they among the heathen, the Lord hath done great things for them. Can I have the comments on the screen there? God bless you. Amen. It says, the Lord hath done great things for us, whereof we are glad. Amen. Amen. Whereof we are what? We are what? Glad. We are glad. It says, turn again our captivity, O Lord, as the stream of the south as the stream of the south everyone who's watching right now on facebook youtube whatever platform you're connected i want you to understand that the bible says in verse 5 of psalm 126 verse 5 says and they that sow in tears shall reap in joy father we thank you for reading the word of god that is what put our flesh in our hearts in Jesus' name, I will say amen. Amen. Now, listen to me, child of God. Tomorrow's Sunday gathering is our exaltation service, coupled with our anointing service for our back to school children. So, it's the week where our children is the back to school week, right? So, the Lord has laid in my heart to anoint all the kids going back to school. We are very much aware of the agenda of hell against um, our children. We know that Satan is on a rampage to destroy lives and Satan is on an assignment to waste destinies. So I want you to understand the importance of the anointing service. 
everyone connected, related, associated, affiliated, I bring a prophetic warning, a prophetic timing, a prophetic word that is well-timed, that God is saying to us, gather your children, pray over them, and get them anointed. I want you to please ensure that tomorrow's gathering, you do not miss it for, don't miss it for anything. Nothing is too important than, or let me say, nothing should be as important or more important than the presence of God or like the presence of God. It's very important to be a part of tomorrow's gathering. Everyone connected, the American branch, don't miss out at all. Um, um, the um, Caribbean partners and followers and branches, don't miss out at all. Um, those of you in Africa and other parts of Europe, don't miss it at all. It's very important now. Tomorrow is the 14th of April. 14 is the number of completion, perfection, two dimensions. Remember, the Bible says in Genesis chapter 2, verse 1 to 3, that God blessed and sanctified the seventh day, the seventh day, because in the seventh day, he had rested from all his work. So even God appreciated rest, that he sanctified and blessed the seventh day. So ladies and gentlemen, we are, in, we, are, we, are, we are looking to exalt the Father that indeed is our season of laughter and singing so that we will enter rest, that rest in God. The same type of rest our Father enjoyed, our Father encountered in Genesis chapter 2, verse 1 to 3, we are exalting the Father through our praise. Remember, it's also the month of praise. Hallelujah. Yes, exalting the Father through our praise, through our praise, so that we would have access into that realm of God's own kind of rest. So everyone on YouTube listening to me and watching me right now on John Anima Live on YouTube, those of you watching on John Anima Live on YouTube, that's our YouTube channel, and those of you watching via Facebook, Apostle John Anima, and those of you watching on every other different platforms, God bless you. Make sure... It is mandatory you bring up your, 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 your sons and daughters along with you, your children along with you, your nephews, your cousins, your nieces, bring them along with you. Bring your loved ones to mercy and anointing service you do not want to miss at all. Very important gathering that the Lord has designed. We're also lifting up an anointed praise. We're having praise, praise, praise to the glory of our Father. And I believe that tomorrow something has been designed to shift over our lives because of the praise we are looking to raise to the Father. Now, I want you to understand that it's okay to sow in tears. Mm. It's okay to sow in tears. Do you know that the best time to sow is when it actually costs you something? Mm. Sowing without it costing you Sowing without it costing you would bring no value in return. Now, I was just trying to picture something the Lord was whispering to me, the, the full meaning of so. What does so? How can you spell? How do you spell so? How do you spell so? To so. S O what? The Lord said, so means sacrifice of wonders. So your sowing is your sacrifice of wonders. Meaning, Everything in you, in the time of tears, you are sacrificing your time, your praise, your life, your finances to the glory of God. And believe you me, it, it becomes a wonder. Now remember, now sacrifice of wonders. Listen to me. Sacrifice of wonders. Remember, say, wonders where does wonders come in? The Bible says, I and the children that the Lord has given me, we are for what? Signs and wonders. So when you sow, it is a sacrifice of the wonders that you are. So is your sacrifice going to be a wonder even to God? That even in your pain and through your pain, your shame, your sorrow, your misery, you still sacrifice. You brought something to the altar that altered God's flow in his own schedule, catching his attention to now... Face your direction. 
Remember now that two men went before the Lord in Genesis chapter 4, one called Abel, who was a cattle and the other called Cain, who was a tiller of the ground. The Bible says now, when Cain brought forth his sacrifice in Genesis chapter 4, the Bible says that God rejected the sacrifice of Cain. Why? Whatever he brought did not make God wonder. Mm. You know, anything that you bring before God should make God wonder. Mm. That wonder in the sense that, wow, are you telling me that despite what my son or my daughter is going through, they will still put this forward? Even when they are in need, they will still put the needs of the kingdom before their needs. When I mean the needs of the kingdom, it's not just bringing money to church, no. Talking about the needs of the kingdom, meeting the needs of the poor. The Bible says, I was naked, he clothed me. I was homeless, he put a roof over my head. I was hungry, he filled my belly with food. So the, 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 the man said to the master, "When Lord, when did I do all this? And the master said, when you did it to the man on the street, when you did it to the stranded man, when you did it to the homeless child, you did it unto me. So that is the need of the kingdom. Every time we meet the need of situations where we don't necessarily attach strings or we don't expect something in return, that is a sacrifice of wonders. Sacrifice of wonders. It makes God ponder like, oh, wow. Are you telling me that John will put everything aside to seek kingdom advancement here on earth? Sacrifice of what? Wonders. Yes. They that sow in tears, Psalm 126 verse 5, shall reap in joy. Hallelujah. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm here to encourage you that whatever you have been doing for the kingdom, don't stop. But the Bible says, do not get weary. I believe it's the book of James, if I'm not wrong. Don't get weary of what? Good doings for in due season you will surely reap. 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 Hallelujah. Galatians chapter. Why are you laughing? Galatians chapter six. It says, "And let us not be weary of good doings or well doings or doing good for in due season." We shall reap if we faint not. Hallelujah. Galatians chapter 6, verses 9 and 10. Hallelujah. So, ladies and gentlemen, whatever you are doing, stay good. Tell your neighbor, stay good. Stay good. Stay good. Someone says, stay good. Stay good. So, whenever you want to understand my verse, I, I beseech you to trust God. Someone say, trust God. Trust God. Someone say, trust God. Trust God. Stay good. Stay good. Trust God. Trust God. Stay good. Trust God. Trust God. Don't get weary. Are you listening to me? So, it was just a quick admonishment to someone tonight. I'm excited. We're in a season of tremendous happenings. We've been getting wonderful testimonies of what God is doing in your lives. Last week, we saw two cancer patients' results. We, we saw God heal two cancer patients. Yes, Turning sir. their results, cancer disappeared. Two healings of cancer. Let's clap for Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. People going to the hospital and being told that they are cleared of cancer. That's right. Just by praising God. Am I communicating here? Yes, sir. Just by what? Praising God. Just by what? Praising God. Just by what? Praising, praising God. God. Is it active? This active one, right? Yes, sir. Just by praising God. Two people healed of cancer. Many other miracles, opportunities, those of opportunities open to others, and many, many, many more. So I just want to encourage you. Whatever you are doing, stay good. Someone say, stay good. Stay good. And stay God. Mm. Someone say, stay good. Stay good. And stay in God. And stay in God. Stay good. Stay good. And stay in God. And stay in God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Um, um, thirdly, um, please, I mean, if you remember uh, the, the praise banners, I hope you've not misplaced yours. Because mine is sitting in my bag. Mm -hmm. Your praise banner. Make sure you keep waving it in praise. Bring your praise banner with you tomorrow. Bring it along with you. I did say we're going to receive an instruction, right? I didn't, and I have not given any any instruction for you to misplace your praise banner. Bring your praise banner along with you. Some of you, you've used your praise banner to go to the toilet. It's not for the toilet. Hallelujah! Bring your praise banner. Hallelujah. 
Praise God. So please ensure it's very it's manda- mandatory. Every member, everyone connected, related, affiliated, home and abroad, you must come along with friends and families, Marie, your children, is an anointing service and our exaltation what service. Praise God. So I'm not gonna be long online um, because we've got a few things to sort out behind the scene. God bless you, Julie. Someone called Julie and Perry, 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 Periche, Perich, Periche. How do you pronounce that? Periche. God bless you. Blessings upon you, Julie. God bless you. Amen. So everyone who's live, listen to me. I want you to ensure that um, you do not miss out at all. Someone said, yeah, apostle, we'll be online by God's um, uh, mercy. Amen. Praise God. So um, whilst we're doing that, I, I believe something something amazing is brewing in the spirit. And I want you to drink from the cup of revelation that has been set before us in this season. Also, don't forget St. Vincent and the Grenadines at 9 a.m. Can we have it up back? At 9 a.m. every Sundays on um, Christ-like radios, SVG, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Please tune in. If you're in St. Vincent and the Grenadines, tell your friends and families, your loved ones, to tune into our sermons. My, um, my sermons on um, St. Vincent and the Grenadines radio called Christ-like radio. It's... Uh, um, um, is, that, is that... um. If I'm not mistaken, that's 109.26 FM, if I'm not mistaken, right? That's what's on screen. Is that right? What? No, 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 no. It's a nine, it's it's nine point. It's it's eight point one FM. So those of you in St. Vincent and Green it's eight point one FM every Sunday's nine AM EST. Every Sunday's nine AM EST. Um the sermons, we have it on the 18 point. 18.1 FM. Hallelujah. Praise, praise God. So tune in. Don't forget every Sunday. So tomorrow 9 a.m. the sermon will be live. And hey, don't forget. Um, I want to also um, encourage you to get yourself ready for those of you in St. Vincent and Green Days. I will be, we're having our crusade, our three days apostolic invasion of the nation of St. Vincent and the Grenadines on Friday, 24th of May. Saturday the 25th of May and Sunday the 26th of May. Peace Memorial Hall, Richmond Hill, Kingstown, St. Vincent, and the Grenadines. Please, Vincentians, tell your loved ones or tell your loved ones to be there. If you need the promo, the video, we can send it to you to spread the word. Amen. It is first come, first serve. So be there early. Make book time out to be there on these three nights. I will be, by the grace of God, physically in St. Vincent and the Grenadines with the host of heaven. Something Explosive is coming to the nation that will be that will bring God glory. Emmanuel K. Sani. I want to see you tomorrow. God bless you. It's been a while. I want to see you tomorrow. Emmanuel K. Sani. Come see me tomorrow. You, you out of mind, out of sight. You come and see me tomorrow. I want to know how you're doing. Uh, accountability is very important on how a man is serving in the vineyard of the Lord. So I want to see you tomorrow in church. Emmanuel Sani. God bless you. So child of God, I'm excited. Don't forget that. Um, huh? Don't forget that um, <laughs> Mama just giving me some information behind the scene here. She's always she's always giving information, isn't she? <laughs> okay, so someone said, "Oh, great! Welcome to SVGO, Julie. Julie Ann, are you from SVG? Please make sure you tell your friends and families you've got information now, and I want you to ensure. And now get, get all the great people that want to partner. You know, all the all the wealthy men and the wealthy women." I don't know what to do with money. Let them contact me. Let us give them kingdom advancement. We're part of there are lots of lots of things to pay for. Amen. From venues to logistics and many, many, many things. We want to be a blessing even to the poor. I like to visit prisons. I like to visit um, homeless shelters. I like to visit uh, 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 um, um, orphanage homes. We like to. Apart from the, the crusade itself, we're going to have um, other activities. On the side, so I want partners. Yes, I want partners that will partner with me. If you understand my voice, things have got to be done now. We're talking about just what three, three, four weeks from now. Saint Vincent and the Grenadines. My God, I remember when the first prophecy went out concerning Saint Vincent and the Grenadines. My God, it was heavy. Vincentians, you know, I love you all with the love of God. Your nation means a lot to me, um, and it means a lot to the Father. And it's the reason why He's sending me at the point and at a time and for a time as this. Amen. Praise God. What a mighty, mighty 
mighty God himself. So Julie, 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 and Perich, make sure you tell your friends and families about my visit to St. Vincent and Brindis. Tell them, tell them, tell them. And hey, I want all the rich people in your country to partner. Amen. If they don't, if they don't know what to do with money, I will, I will help them know what to do with the money. Now, I'm going to take just a few calls, maybe two, three, four calls tonight very quickly. Um, the admin line is going to be placed on your screen. We uh, I'd like to I'd like to um, pray with you or counsel you to what the Lord is saying. And hey, apart from you calling for prayers, why don't you call in to tell me what God has done for you? What God is using this platform to do for you? I want to hear your testimonies. I want to hear you. I want to hear how, how my God, the Bible says, my God shall supply. Apostle Paul personalized God because his encounter with Jesus was unique. Amen. So we're just going to take um, this first caller. Hello, praise the Lord. Hello, praise the Lord. Hello, good night to you. Good night to you. Please tell me your name and what you want the Lord to do for you. Hello, good night. Good night to you. Can you hear me? Hello. Yes, please. I'm hearing you. Bless you. Please, what is your name and what do you want the Lord to do for you? My name is Lafla Kovamas and I'm from Sydney's but holiday in England by Sister Giselle Pompey. Oh, so you are um, currently by Sister Pastor, Giselle Pompey. Uh, Pastor, I have a daughter, Zanel. Her name is Zanel Kovamas. I would like you to pray for her because um, every time she has a job, is like it does not she does not last long on the job so we were just i'm just asking you if you could just prefer her oh, what, what, what's what, what's what's um, your daughter's name her name is zanel comabach zanel you said from, from zanel yes z-a-n-e-l comabach okay so you were, you were praying that god would take away this um repeated mark of affliction where things don't stay and things don't last yes please and i'm asking for a prayer for myself to last work my back okay let, uh, let's pray for your daughter first father i thank you for you um zanel yeah and i'm come back come back i'm praying for please. i'm praying for deliverance now lord um yeah. i pray you've touched this young lady wherever she is have mercy oh god let your glory be seen on her as father in your mercy you rise upon her let every blanket of darkness that has rested on this lady and this lady's glory let this blanket of darkness catch fire now i pray for deliverance i pray for healing i pray for your power in jesus name i'll say amen Amen. Amen. Now, um, regarding Zanel, what the Lord just Excuse revealed re regarding your daughter Zanel, what the Lord no. what the Lord just revealed to me is um this repeated circle that she's experiencing is from her father's house. Now, what I saw in the realms of the spirit. The, fa if fa the father's covering is absent over this girl. Where's her father? Um, in sentences, sentences. Okay. Now, is the father present in her life? Yes. Yes, please. She's living there with him at this moment. So she's she's living with him at this moment. And is the father in the yes, Lord? Please. Hello? Is the father born again? Hello? Is he is the father born again? Is it in the Lord? Hello. Hello, can you hear me? Um, yeah, like you're breaking up. Yeah, I said, is the father of this of, of the girl in the Lord? Is he is he is he born again? Is he prayerful? No, no, he's not a Christian. No, he's not prayerful. He's not because what I saw in the born again. what I so he's not born again, he's not a Christian, he's, he doesn't believe in God. What I saw in the realms of the spirit was that the, 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 the father's covering spiritually is absent. So what is happening is that where yeah. what's happening is where the girl is meant to be shielded from this repeated circle by reason of DNA connection to her father's side. The powers, mm. this thing happening to your daughter is happened repeatedly to the father. Things don't settle. Whenever something comes, it goes. Whenever something comes, it goes. 
So what is happening to the daughter is and it's like a spiritual inheritance. And the father, who is meant to have prayerfully shielded the daughter from such repeated circle and breaking such transfer of, of, of satanic operations, isn't doing it. Well, mm -hmm. she was, this girl, is she, is she, she's in St. Vincent at the moment, you said, right? Yes, please. When I visit St. Vincent, ensure no matter how how crowded or packed the place is, ensure that somehow and in some way I lay my hands on her. I pray yeah. for her. Uh -huh. Yeah. So, yeah. so I, I want to pray that even now, prior to the physical meeting with um, your daughter, I pray that she would already begin to experience turn around. Full 360 turnaround. Yeah, amen. Things begin to work for her. Amen. I decree amen. our glory is established. Our glory is settled. Our glory right now Thank experiences you. the mark Thank of you. favor and enjoy the yeah. backing of God's grace. In Jesus' name, I will say amen. 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 And I want to pray for you as well because the Lord is showing me that you've been yeah. crying to God for um, financial establishment in business. I see you yeah. desiring to do business, business. And the Lord is showing me the rest of the spirit that he would, he would give you some, some, um, some form of business. But one thing you are not sure of is you are looking and you are trusting God for a sense of direction in your life. You desire, yes. You, yes. You, you desire, you desire and you appreciate what life in the United Kingdom looks like. But the Lord said, your glory is not here. Be careful. It's beautiful, mm -hmm. but the Lord, the Lord said, your glory is not here. Your glory mm -hmm. is in the Northern American continent. So whatever you're doing here, you can visit, you can get one or two connections, um, get businesses going, but be careful where you establish yourself without God's own backing. So I pray for you that in the name of mm -hmm. Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, Everything that concerns you shall be led, guided mm -hmm. by the Spirit of God in Jesus' name. From now on, Amen. may you begin to enjoy the blessings of God. I release upon you now the mark of Christ. And the Bible says, let no power trouble me, for I bear now in my body the mark of Christ. Today, let the mark of Christ Amen. become your become your defense from every form of trouble in Jesus' name. I will say, Amen. Amen and Amen. It is well with you. God bless you. Amen. Good night. God bless you. Good night. Good night. God bless you. Now, child of God, um, bless pity. Um, bless pity online. Bless blossom online. You can hear me. Blossom. Bless pity online. Please make sure. I just saw you. I saw you right. What's was on the phone? I saw your name on the screen, and then I saw you bringing a document to me, and I feel like the Lord wants me to lay my hands on that document concerning what has been approved. Are you listening to me? Bless pity. The Lord said, bring that document. I saw me laying my hands on that document concerning what has been approved. So bring it to me tomorrow so I can lay my hands on it and release a blessing over it. Hallelujah. God bless you, Shana Shadapal. God bless you, Pastor Samai. How are you doing, son? God bless you. Now, um, everyone else, tomorrow's service, 3 p.m. Don't forget, 3 p.m. United Kingdom time. We are meeting on our premises, on our site, the Haven Global Church, um, London, United Kingdom. Amen. And the address is on your screen. Um, Vincent Street, Canning Town, London, E16, 1LZ. 3 p.m. The, service, the services, the service starts. Ensure all children, all youth, all young persons are there present, are there in service and in person. Make sure you do not miss out at all. And wherever you are, come along with your friends and families as we exalt the Lord and as we receive the anointing session and service. Amen. Praise God. Let, let, let's take this call on. Hello, praise the Lord. Hello, good evening. God bless you. Bless you. Please tell me your name and what you want the Lord to do for you. Bless you, Pastor. My name is Shalisa. I am calling from Barbados. Your name is. And I wanted to first. Your name is Shalisa. For my son, you actually ministered to me a year ago when, uh, almost a year ago when you were in Barbados. Hold on, hold on. Him. Oh, sorry, your name is Shalisha. Um, I also wanted to seek direction in terms of career. So your name is Shalisha. Yes, please. And from Barbados. You said I have ministered to your son in Barbados when I visited. Yeah, on the I think it was the final night of the conference, the last one that you did. Okay. 
So um, the so what do you want the Lord to do? So is this about your son now or just you alone? What do you want the Lord to do for you? Firstly, how is your son doing? Um, he is doing well, but um, this time I have been having some challenges in terms of behavior and his um, education. Whereas he, he usually does very well, mm -hmm. but for some now I find that he has been struggling with his um, education oh. and the behavior you would have spoken to me about, I find that, you know, with his with him being so strong will is actually becoming a challenge. So the prophecy I spoke to you about when I visited uh, Barbados concerning your son's behavior is beginning to manifest. Yes. Is basically happening slowly. Okay, so you've got to you got to be very prayerful then, because if the Lord has spoken particularly about your son's behavior, and now you're seeing this thing manifest, you've got to pray. You have to intercede because God spoke in advance so that you're well prepared and equipped mentally, spiritually, so you could engage um, um, the, the the right dimensions of prayers to bring down to bring down every satanic ammunition that's been. Um, raised up against your son. So I speak over his life. What's your son's name again? Dimitri. Dimitri. Yes. I speak over Dimitri's life because I've because I have called his name. I decree that his mind and his heart, his will is preserved and aligned with the peace of God and the love of God in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 So Amen. You, you also are calling because you want to get directions. Yeah. Is I it? am currently self-employed. Um I have I do like I work in the beauty industry, but I somehow want, felt the sense of wanting to know exactly what is it that God wants me to do because sometimes I will start it will go very well, but I find like I will lose the passion or the discovery. So I didn't want to do something because it will make money or so forth. So I wanted to do what I know God actually wants me to do. Hmm. Can you place your hands on your chest? I'm going to pray for you. Lord, I lift up your daughter before you and I'm asking... For that revelation that lights up a path and it becomes a light to our feet. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Now, Yemi, um, lady, um, Shalisha, Shalisha. I'm here, you're a pastor. Now, I saw you standing in the midst of children and in the realms of the spirit. I saw one, two, three, four, five, six, fourteen, twenty, thirty. And these children were just much. And then I heard the word nursery. Then I saw nursery. Yeah, nursery. Nursery. Then I saw church and I saw school. And the Lord said, Tell her that I have called her. So what you're thinking is just business and what a platform through which you may make money and have any to make money. The Lord is saying here tonight that yeah. he is actually called you to deal with the children. It's your ministry, it's your calling. So I want yeah. you, so I, I, I don't know if you've worked with children before in terms of a career. I don't know. Um, Sunday school, I, I first started the first Sunday school group at, a, at my former church. Oh, wow. um, recently, actually, my pastor recently asked me to assist with a daycare that she just started. Wow. So you studied Sunday school in the church and then your pastor has contacted you to manage the daycare that she started? Yes, yeah, a sanctuary, please. Amazing. So you see God is confirming his word. So that is where your Amen. blessing is. Amen. The law, It's not just a, a money-making avenue, but a ministry in you through which grace will be channeled to liberate children and preserve children from being afflicted and manipulated by the enemy. 
That is why you have to be very much in intercession for your own child, your own son. Because, Yemi, yeah. what I that see is... That was actually a very deep desire that I had because my heart was really extended to the preservation of children, especially the challenges I had as a child and what my son is going through. And I really felt the need to, you know, secure them in Christ until they could, like, fulfill their destiny. And they have so many things out there that is challenging children these days. My God. So you see, God is confirming his word. The Bible says the Spirit of God is not an author of confusion. Lord is, is not an author of confusion. So confirmation has mm -hmm. come, not confusion. So just maintain, diligently maintain the path that God has placed your feet on. Engage children's ministry mightily because in this ministry that will liberate destinies and preserve futures even at infant or young stage even now. So ensure that you are very much um, very much active with the children's arms, the children's harm of, your, of the church and um, start looking into the business. Now that you've been placed in a, in a position where you um, are sort of managing or supervising a daycare center, it's in alignment with the God's plans for you because a time would come you would own your own, you would run your own. You would own yours and run yours. Amen. But it's the, it's a season of training. It. It's a season of training. It's a season of preparation. It. It's a season of um, a season of um, um, maturity. A season of capacity building. It's a season of your um, ability being polished. Your humanity being refined. It's a season of finding yourself and your fitting. It's a season of discovering your own dynamism. The dynamism of such call within you. Are you listening to me? So. All of the wisdomatics, the wisdomatics that God wants you to learn, grab it now because it will play a role um, when you are. Um, it will play a role. Can you tell them that I'm getting this thing? It will play a role when you are um, um, in full flow of your own business. So I bless you in the name of the Lord. I decree that doors are open unto you, doors of favors, doors of opportunity. I pray that every adversary that might stand in the way is pulled down by the power of the Holy Ghost and you walk through into Amen. open doors that the Lord has said before you you will walk in supernatural speed every distraction of the enemy that is this that is designed designed to this you know to, to, to slow you down because the enemy wants to use the attack on your child to distract you from the assignment ahead that will save other kids. So I pray that your son is preserved by reason of the call of God upon your life and the wisdom, the, the, the fire the, that will become an edge of preservation around you and your child and family that is now activated over you and upon you in Jesus' name. I will say amen. 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 God bless you. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you. Apostle. God bless you. Hallelujah. Praise God. So, child of God, everyone, whenever you are, please don't forget, everyone, click on the thumbs up button. Click on the thumbs up button. I want you to understand that um, it's a very important time in this season. Click on the thumbs up button. Click on the thumbs up button. Click on the like button right now. Amen. Like I said, tomorrow, very important. Wherever you want that is on my voice, don't miss tomorrow's gathering. I want to see you in church tomorrow. Um, physically gathered and those of you the, the followers and partners abroad don't forget to tune in virtually as well again i want to say something isabella isabella pina to the bank god bless you i like i need to speak to you um i know that one of my staff would have spoken to you already i need to speak to you amen now very quickly i want to say this um everyone who is um um listening to me please we are having a lot of acts when i mean acts actors breaking into zoom so for those of you who usually tune onto the who usually tune onto the zoom link you tune onto the zoom link remember this that um um be safe online when you see any unusual name with uh with with unusual um present presentation of things and show you also can report these to um uh, admin staffs because Zoom is being act globally. It's a global. It's a global act. It's not a personal thing. So um, we cannot now allow um, certain actors who upload rubbish stop the flow of God. So let us just be online. Online. Let's become online savvy, so that we are we will learn the 
the the the the the know hows of um the know hows of um the internet so that we're preserved online. Um, set apart. I want to pray for you tomorrow as well. Please make sure you see me. Um, um, Kami, Kami, make sure you see me tomorrow. I want to pray for you. Um, in in in, in the service. Remind me tomorrow to pray, to pray for Kami. Amen. God bless you all. I really um pray that God lifts you up and give you peace and give you joy in Jesus name. Darius Brodnax, God bless you. Blessings to you and blessings upon you in Jesus name. So listen, gentlemen. Um, without further ado, I'm going to release a blessing of the Lord over your lives. Wherever you are, just lift up your hands and stretch it towards the screen. I decree that the Lord bless you. I pray the Lord concentration upon you. I pray the Lord is gracious unto you. I pray that his countenance rest upon you. Wherever you go from this day, men will see you and see the light of God. Men will see you and just love you. Men will see you and just favor you. Even your enemy will be at peace with you. I pray that the blessings of God overwhelms you. And I pray that the light of God becomes your glory, your shield, your everything, your directive, your direction in the name of Jesus. I pray that the word of God becomes a supernatural sub navigating system of your life. And I pray that the name of the Lord becomes your salvation. In Jesus' name, I will say amen. amen. God bless you all. I love you, love God. Everyone, click on thumbs up button. Don't forget to tell someone about the Haven Global Church. I want to see you tomorrow, 3 p.m. Uh, for our gathering at um, uh, uh, our site, the Haven Global Church, Vincent Street, Cannington, London, E16, 1LZ. My, my wife and I, we love you all with the love of God. Don't forget, all the children, all the youth, all the young people, families and friends, even parents alike, I'll be anointing you all tomorrow. Don't forget, don't miss out. It is well with you. Jesus Christ is Lord. See you tomorrow. Wow. Hallelujah. IPP 2024. Praise the Lord. The Lord bless you. My name is Apostle Johnny Newman. I'm the senior pastor of the Haven Global Church here, based in the United Kingdom. I'm so excited to tell you that IPP 2024 is coming to St. Vincent and the Grandins. The Lord gave me a word in the year 2021, January, concerning the nation, and ever since there's been deeper revelation about God's plans for not just St. Vincent and the Grandins, but the Caribbean Islands as a whole. Wherever you are, if you're based in St. Vincent or you're based in the Grenadines, I would be in your country in the month of May, the 24th, the 25th, and the 26th, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Three promising and amazing days with God and the host of heaven, plus myself as a vessel. 20 pounds of fibroid in you. The book of Isaiah chapter 26, verse 2, verse 3, and verse 4 says, Open ye the gates that the righteous nation which keepeth the truth may enter in. Thou wilt keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee because he trusted in thee. Trust ye in the Lord, St. Vincent and Grandins forever. For the Lord Jehovah is everlasting strength. St. Vincent and Grandins, your time has come. Do you incline to speak to the man of God in a more confidential setting, that is, away from the ears of others? This is your opportunity to book a one-to-one -one prophetic counseling with God's servant, Apostle John Enuma. This is where the mind of God is released concerning your life. Simply visit the website at www.johnenuma.com. Please note, the fee required is for administrative and software maintenance. You will receive an email of confirmation with the time and date for your prophetic counseling session. For further details, please contact the admin line at plus 447758230111. Thank you for watching.